I'm joining you from Grantsburg, Wisconsin. I am actually mountain biking right now, 18 miles. So the Governor Knoll State Forest southern portion is a 16 mile trail that runs along the St. Croix River. But there is no shuttle service, so I'm riding my mountain bike from the north end down to the south end, which is about 18 miles. And then I'm gonna hike back to my car another 16 miles. Think I can make it? It's about 74 degrees and it's nice out, but it's a pretty aggressive schedule and planned for me, considering I've been sitting around eating Doritos in the middle of a pandemic for the last month. Let's go. Made it to the trailhead. That bike ride was quite a challenge. It was a little bit farther and a little harder than I planned. Uh, a bunch of the road was on this uh, loose gravel road that was very sandy, so it made it a little harder for pedaling. But uh, it's about 11 o'clock, 18 miles biked. And I have about 16 miles to hike. So uh, I hope this trail isn't too difficult. Um, you know, it's a pretty flat area, but I'm hoping there aren't too many tree falls this early in the spring. And uh, with COVID, who knows if they've done any trail maintenance, then it goes along a river. So hopefully uh, nothing's washed out, but hey, that's part of the adventure. It's a beautiful day out. I'm about three and a half, four miles in. Made it to the Lagoo Backpack Campsite. It's about a quarter of a mile up a trail up this way. Eh, not great, not horrible. But the uh, river, I don't know if you can see it, is right back here, the uh, St. Croix River. It's a really big river. But uh, you can't see the river from most of the trail so far, but every now and then you can kind of come out by it and can take a look. So. I'm gonna try and make it about another mile here and then I'm gonna stop for some lunch. We're about six and a half miles in. I just finished the Lagoon Creek section. Having a little lunch here. It's a good trail. Um, it's not real fancy, you know, no big fancy overlooks, but real flat, not a whole lot of rocks, roots, mud. So I've been making good time. And I'm glad it's a little bit easier because that bike ride took a little bit more energy out of me than I expected. So, um, got about 10 miles to go. Gonna head up on the Benson Brook route. I picked this trail. It's only an hour away from my house. We're in the middle of this pandemic from COVID-19 and we can't go to uh, backpacking and hiking to trails a long ways away. So I needed to get out on a trail and put in some long miles, at least 15 miles. And I didn't want to go to the state park right by my house because it is just packed and nuts right now. All these people trying to get out there. So this trail, hour away from home, hardly anybody on it. And uh, it's walking through the woods. It's well maintained. It's a beautiful day. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Halfway, warming up out here. So I told you there aren't hardly any people out on this trail, 
run into a couple groups of hikers and I came across some ladies backpacking here and I was impressed because they're actually backpacking on big packs. Unlike you. Yeah, unlike <laughs> me. <laughs> wow. Slack packer. Wow. Slack packing. They have some trail cred. I'm just a wuss. So a couple weeks ago, I was out hiking at Afton uh, State Park. And a couple of these same ladies were out there and they're like, hey, it's our YouTube guy. What's your name again? I forgot. Sarah. This is Sarah. Jam T. Jam T. In July. Knock on wood. And what are your names again? I am Mel. Mel. Yeah. And Monica. Uh, these ladies told me that uh, dispersed camping is allowed in this area. Wait, not dispersed. Not dispersed, not but backcountry campsites. Right, yeah. Which I didn't know or else I would have camped out, but <laughs> oh well. You know. Okay, I finished that section. I'm on to the Raspberry Trail section. Kind of see what I've been looking at. Uh, we're up on top of a ridge. The uh, St. Croix River is down in that valley. I have about two miles to go. I'm feeling pretty good other than I'm getting a little chafing. But uh, all things considered, I'm doing just fine. I'm terrible at plant identification, but there's these really pretty great big green lead plants all over the place. Maybe if you know what they are, you can comment down below. Yeah, I just climbed up a big hill at what I thought was the end. Then I get out to the pavement, realized I'm in some campground that is closed. So made a wrong turn, but I'm not that far off. But uh, it's kind of disappointing when you think, hey, I'm there. No, you're not. So I think I just got like a half a mile to go up here. Hey, I finally found my car. 18 miles on the mountain bike, 16 miles on the trail. I'm spent. Sorry, uh, maybe this isn't the best video in the world, but I knew I had to focus on getting my miles done today. And frankly, there wasn't a whole lot to video, but uh, that being said, it's a, it's a nice trail to come on and do exactly what I did. I would not do the mountain biking thing again though. So. It was a great trip, you know, only about another month of this quarantine stuff, I'm hoping that I can get back out on the Superior Hiking Trail, maybe some other more interesting trails, but I'm not going to complain. This was a good hike. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. You'll be notified when I put out new videos. Check out these other two videos. Hang in there. Pretty soon we'll see you back out on the trail. Drove back to the beginning of the trail and there's my bike.